Hello and welcome back to Smart Engine Impact. So as you can see, the water is still here right now. However, I did figure out a method to get rid of the water and I'm going to show that method right now. So you see this room right here with that constellation? I'm gonna enter it very fast. And here we are back at this room. Now you may remember that there were like those devices that send out beams and stuff here. Apparently that has nothing, like I already solved that puzzle completely. So uh, it's, there wasn't a glitch there. But anyways, I've got to change this constellation pattern so that something will appear on the floor here. And there we go. Now if I have it ascend to raise the water level and then descend to lower the water level, the water in that one room will be, you know, lowered again. And as you can see, lowered so I can enter. I don't know if I'm going to end up like seeing some of the same cutscenes as before. If I do, then I can just skip ahead a little bit. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's repeating the cutscenes from before. No big deal. Okay, we're back here. She's going to start talking again. And I just... Astrologists are able to understand the most complex signs among the stars. There's that star. And because of this, we are not allowed to show any... You should not get confused. Oh. If you should become confused one day, not even astrology will be able to help you then. That's what the old hag said. We astrologists can't predict our own fate. But today... Those words seem to... I understand now that... People won't always follow a beacon's guiding light. Even though the way forward may be dark and dangerous, they will still resolutely forge ahead. There we go. Some of the dialogue got cut off there at some points, but it's fine. Because now I'm not losing the stupid star. Precisely because it cannot be altered or reversed. Uh, oh, okay, good. I was a little bit worried there for a second. Uh, I don't know if you could fall down there. I understand the governing laws of the universe, and have glimpsed secrets between heaven and earth. Observing it is enough for me. Hmm. There are no perfect legends, and no heroes that can save everyone. Instead of dwelling on my helplessness, what I should do is seize my own destiny. Okay, so now I jump down here. Oh boy. Uh, looks like it's coming to an end again. Hmm. Oh, that's cool looking. Huh. What a magnificent view! Lady Magistus! I believe this is the firmest evidence yet of your immense genius. You truly are the greatest archmage in the history of the Immanachreich. Thank you. Although the Immanachreich really doesn't have that much of a history. <laughs> Stars like diamonds and the moon like a pearl. This is the most brilliant night sky I've ever beheld. It's beautiful. To call up such a mirage, Mona must have a vast and boundless sea of stars in her heart. Hmm. Uh, Mona? What's the matter? Oh, I'm just thinking. These must be the things that we aspire to. This night sky is incredibly beautiful. In fact, I might go so far as to say it's even more beautiful than what I usually see in divinations. All the stars are in their rightful place. This is definitely my mirage. Only here can I see extraordinary sights like these. Extraordinary? Why do you say that? You know, the night sky of Tevat is truly marvelous. All the answers in the world seem to have been hidden within. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? As your stars move across the sky, they record all your life events in their path. And among all the people in the world, a considerable number will see their stars deviate from their path. When your stars are on track, it means you will be healthy, happy, and at peace. Conversely, if your stars go off track, everything will get worse. 
The starry sky in my divinations would never look as perfect as this. Some stars would lose their way, and others would fall. Hmm. I wish everyone could be happy and stay on track. To this end, I offer advice and tell the truth. I know it's useless. All fates are already revealed in the night sky, with mine too, just another among them. I can't change anything, even so. Outside of astrology, outside of the words of truth, I still cling to the wisp of an irrational fantasy. We must all live within the confines of reality, but... Call me presumptuous. But I still believe in miracles. In this vast sea of stars, there are stars for you, for me, for everybody. What are the chances of one star encountering another? Are these encounters not the most wonderful miracles in all of destiny? <sighs> I don't know. But within to mm. that, the stars in the sky will always have a place for us. Even if astrology is resolutely rational, fate remains arbitrary, cruel, but romantic. <laughs> Mona, you seem to have been deep in thought. Have you found the answer? I think I have figured out what those stars are hiding. Now I will seize my own destiny. Okay. So it says to seize destiny and look for an object in the area. I have no idea where to go. I'll just keep running forward, I guess, until it either forces me to stop or something happens. This area kind of reminds me of a certain location in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, there we go. So, I'm not seeing anything that particularly stands out right now. Huh? Oh, another wall. Uh, where am I supposed to go? I have no idea what destiny they're talking about. I mean, she did mention stars. Maybe I'm supposed to collect... Oh, look at that. Hello, you. Come here. Capture Finally. There was Ooh. a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It is never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence. We're back here again! So... Are we completely out of the mirage? That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're out. strange. My mirage didn't contain any hints on the Tui or the machine. Does that mean they had nothing to do with these mirages after all? Hmm. Or perhaps these mirages are a mere consequence and not part of a process at all. Um, Paimon's lost. <laughs> I mean, these mirages were not steps towards solving the mystery, but rather a direct effect of whatever's going on. Someone did something to bring the mirages into being. As they were just passive side products, it was natural that they couldn't provide us with any useful information. In other words, those mirages were only about ourselves. Yeah. Hmm. Pure materializations of ourselves. Interesting. Hmm. Everyone, maybe we should go back to where this whole thing began. Uh, which island was that? During our first day on the island, the Traveler and I checked out the Fatui camp together. We found a strange machine there, as well as some disoriented Fatui. Okay, I mean, the, that island was my first guess, but I was thinking of the other island where we saw, like, glimpses of the mirages the first time. Anyways, this is correct. The researcher who spoke to us claimed that the machine was just a Fatui industrial invention. He even promised to not disturb us. Right, right! 
and the Cappy Cup guy looked half asleep the entire time. He kept talking nonsense. I wonder, is it possible that madness and mirages are two different outcomes of the machine's influence? Huh. If so, everything can be traced back to that damaged machine. Except for the difference in how it affects people. This, I believe, is caused by differences between the affected people themselves. Maybe it has something to do with visions? Oh. When you put it that way, it is indeed difficult to distinguish dreams and hallucinations. So what you're saying is, the device affected us differently because we are different from the Fatui. Yes. And according to our observations over these past few days, I think... The difference is that we all have stronger willpower. Hmm. Yeah, I can get behind that. People with strong willpower will hallucinate instead of falling into madness. But those who break too easily can't maintain a stable mirage. In other words, we should go back to the Fatui camp and destroy that machine right away! Uh, yeah, I suppose so. No, it should be repaired rather than destroyed. Well, that's an interesting take on things. What main Fräulein means is that rashly destroying a machine we do not understand may lead to more serious consequences. It would be better to find a way to repair it first. Right. It pays to be cautious. If my guess is correct, the machine is capable of influencing the human brain. So we'd better tread carefully. So let's go now! There's no time to waste! Okay, we're just... Going on right over there now, huh? The ancient Azure Stars has been completed, and will it tell me about uh, things I can do for for this? Let me see very fast. Let's go to the event details and look at this. Okay, so initial exploration, blah blah blah. Okay, I'm gonna just temporarily enter this again, just to see uh, what's going on. Okay, so there's a total of eight undiscovered treasure chests and one undiscovered phantasmal conch. Wow. I was not expecting that. And there's also uh, these things. And you know what? I'm going to do both of these things right here uh, very fast. I don't know if I'm going to go and try to find those treasure chests and stuff, though. Um, yeah. Okay, here we are. The Temple Dome in Temple of Stars Latitude will display key astrological signs. Each of these stars corresponds to one of the mechanisms on the ground in the temple. Find the brightest star and activate the mechanism that corresponds to it, and you will perhaps be able to so solve the puzzle. Oh. Oh. Uh, so... It's... Yeah, this is going to be fun. What'd that do for me? Wait, did I really seriously just solve that puzzle? No way, it was that easy? Just stepping on one of them did it. I refuse to believe that, not after all these other puzzles. There's gotta be some kind of trick here. I don't know if I, I actually solved that properly or not, and since it's telling me to continue this way, I will. I was, I was thinking that this was going to be like a you know, fighting challenge where you fight monsters and stuff. But instead it turned out to be another puzzle. Which is kind of bizarre to me. Ah, door of resurrection. I suppose I could fall down into the pit if I'm not careful. Oh. This area kind of looks a little bit familiar. Hmm. Oh, there's a challenge thing. So let's uh, do this. During combat, activate the mechanism that corresponds to the bright star. We'll activate astral harmonics, which will randomly provide a buff. Hmm. Okay. So where is the constellation? Oh, all the way over there? And which one's the brightest star? To be honest, it doesn't say yet. But it probably will. In a second. Okay, it's this one right here. This is the brightest star. Hold the line. My apologies. 
And which one's the next brightest star? Will it show me? Does it even matter? I gather you guys up. Do that. Oh boy. Where are they? Oh. Right there. Stabilize. Get rid of you. There we go. And I win. So I don't have to do anything else with this puzzle. Weird. Uh, which way to go? Do I go just this way? Yeah, right through here. And now I've got to follow this path all the way up to the next room. Where there'll be another battle, I'm sure. So that very first one was probably just to unlock a door. The second one of these was to uh, just give you a buff, and I'm sure that this, the third one here will also be to give you a buff, you know, as far as these panels and stuff are concerned. So I think it's this one right here, or is it this one all the way over here? Yeah, this is the one. Okay, easy enough. Ah, die. Ah, no. I've got to get rid of a total of 19 more. 18 more now. Ah, great. Stay frozen. I can probably activate another one right here. Yeah. Okay, that one's gone. Oh, wow. Is uh, there another one? Yeah, right here. Give me. Die. Oh. That guy's on the ground, surprisingly. And there's still a total of 11 more. 10 more now. Let's, uh... Let's get this. Oh, wow. They're being held in place by something. That's cool. A lot of different, uh... Little buffs you can get by occasionally looking up at the constellation and then taking it whenever you get the chance. Uh, here we go. Do that. Blah. Come on, man. Ah. I've got... Two minutes and 40 seconds to get rid of three more enemies. This will be easy. Here we go. Here. And there we go. That challenge is completed. Let's exit stage and see if, what prizes I can claim. Okay, I can claim three prizes right off the bat. And all I have to do is complete that two more times to get the uh, last prize there. Let me see something very fast. Event shop. I can start claiming some of these again, so I'll do that very fast. Okay. I can claim one thing of Mora as well. There we go. Uh, now, what's going on with this? I still need uh, 1,000 more of those to get the copy official. I mean, I don't really need it because I already have, you know, all the copies I need of her, but still. So now if I were to go to this. I could go to the second challenge here, which I'm assuming is more or less the same as the previous one. So let's go ahead and enter there. Oh, they put me right next to it. Cool. Now it's just a matter of activating this. Oh, if you run into the enemies while you have this little shield on you, they get knocked back and stuff by it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's gather them all up into the center. And that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Darn it. Not a big deal, though. OK, 
occasionally look up at that butterfly-like constellation there. In case, uh... In case something happens. Yep. Something did indeed happen. Here we go. Ooh. A lot of the big guys there. Managed to gather them all up, too. Let's go to this one here. There we go. I don't know what that did for me. Oh, it created a puddle of water, which is actually slowly reducing the uh, shield on this guy right here. Or at least it was. Let's uh, freeze him and stop him. There we go. The sooner I get rid of this one, the sooner I can stop this one. Oh, I can activate this now. Oh, is it that one or the other one? No, it's this one. Let's uh, gather them all up Think you can get into away? the center. Brace yourself. Here we go. Allow me. There we go. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought that the constellation might be active again. Now it is, but I thought it would was before. Uh, gather them all up. So if you do any damage to them when they're captured like that, it frees them. Which is unfortunate. But, hey. It all worked out. Let's exit and probably turn in some more of those uh, things for more stuff at the event shop. Okay, let's claim two of those and you know, whatever else I can get. And get a couple more of those things of Mora. So that's all that's left here in the event shop, which is nice. You know what? I am going to enter the ancient Azure Stars again and try to find some treasure chests in that phantasmal conch. Okay, so there were a total of eight treasure chests in this crazy place, as well as one phantasmal conch that I never found. So I'm going to have some looking to do, I suppose. And the water level is back there. I, I could easily enter that place again if I wanted to, if I... I think, anyways, if I went to that one room and raised and lowered the water level again. I don't know if there'd be a point in doing so, though. So I'm going to go clockwise, pretending like th this is... Uh, 12 o'clock right here. I'm gonna be going here to this room. Oh, there's a phantasmal conch somewhere this way. So I wonder how I missed the phantasmal conch before. Because, yeah, it's right out here in the open. Although I can't interact with it. Okay, there we go. Humanity's curiosity toward the stars is an instinct. If only I could decipher all the secrets to be told right here. Okay, cool. And that should have been the only phantasmal conch in this place. So I have to figure this out now. This puzzle right here. I solved it once before, but I guess it's a different one now. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect match for what I have here. Nothing's happening. So I just wasted like five minutes trying to get that puzzle again. Okay, let's uh, go back. Okay, so that was the one, that constellation right there. That's the one that I found the uh, phantasmal conch. And now I'm going into this one. Now this is interesting. There's a staircase going down right here in this room. Okay, for now I'm going to have to assume that I can't go down there. But I'll have to keep that in mind just in case. Uh, you know, there might be some way of lowering the water level. So there was nothing on that path right there. Time to go to the next one, which is somewhere this way. Oh, right there. Ah, this room. I remember this room. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. How do I get that? Oh boy, there is something fishy going on here because I should be able to get that treasure chest and I have no idea how. Is there some kind of switch in this room that I don't know about? Okay, since I now know where at least one of the treasure chests are, I uh, 
I'll definitely have to return here later once I figure out how to lower the water level. Okay, so there was one treasure chest in there that I can't get yet. Let's go on to this one now. Well, this one has some stairs going down too. Just like that other one did. Hmm. I'm just continuing on because I have no idea what's going on with that room. Uh, ooh. Well, this is interesting. Is this a puzzle I never solved before? Oh, there's a switch here and everything. I never solved this. Uh, and there's a switch over here too. Why is there a switch right here? What the? Okay. So, where is the constellation I need to see to solve this, though? That's the question. And what happens if I press this again? Oh, it moves back. Oh! Oh! Well, that's... It's slightly annoying that it's right here, but hey, I, I, I at least know where it is. Okay, so three on the bottom and five on the top. That's what I'm seeing, so I'm going to try to match them up that way. Okay, let's start hitting them. This might actually work. Uh, like that. If I'm lucky, it may be that simple. Yeah, it was. Now the question is, is should I enter this side and repeat the process will there be another one no okay well at least i found one of the treasure chests that's what matters let's go back over to this side just to make sure because you never know okay now nah, it's just showing me the same thing again now what's going on with this because I've never been in this area. At least not that I recall. Okay. There's definitely some stuff going on here. But the question is, is where is the constellation that shows me? And, oh, wow, you can go all the way down there? Uh, is this... Ah, great. I was hoping that there would be a platform there. Oh. Okay. What? How am I still okay? Uh, whatever. I guess you can't fall down all the way. But now it's just a matter of finding stuff. So this right here does what? It goes into the wall there and then disappears. Oh, it's all the way up there. Maybe I've got to find those? Okay, so... If I find enough of those things, it, it might create like a full constellation or something. That's my guess. And... Interact with this. Where'd it go? Okay, is it going right up there? It's zipping along the wall there, to where that is. Not that that really helps me for the moment, but hey. What's this about? Oh, I can give this to that. Okay, let's give that to that. Did that change something with that? Yep, it did. And created a zigzag line. So now it's just a matter of figuring out exactly what pattern I need. And I think I already have an idea. So if I aim that that way, and then I let this one stay aimed the way it currently is, this has got to be faced that way like that. You know, I may have done this backwards, I hope not, but I may have done so. Let's rotate this one now. And fire. Did that do it? I'm pretty sure that that matches with what I needed. Oh, you know what it might be? I might still be missing one of those little star things. In fact, I see it all the way back over there. In that uh, corner there. Took a second to get back over here. Let's touch that. There we go. That's... Basically, yeah, it was indeed the way I thought it was supposed to be. I just need one more step, which is rotating this so that it faces that, and then hit it. <clears throat> wow. Is it going to change again? It might change again. I'll see in a second. And it hasn't changed. I can't interact with this anymore. 
and there doesn't seem to be a point in doing any more with this stuff, so I'm gonna go back to the central room. Okay, so I found two out of the eight, so now there are only six left. I'm gonna re-enter again, see if I can find any more. I'm starting to, I mean, I already know where one of them is for sure. It was in that water pond, but yeah, I don't know how to get to it yet. Oh, there's a false wall in this room. Look at that. This wall was not there, but I mean, that doorway right there was not there just a second ago. I can't believe it. So there's a treasure chest right out in the open here. I just was randomly going wherever I possibly could and... What? Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, I can interact with this right now. But how does that help me? Oh. Okay. Sure. Is there more to this treasure chest puzzle? That's the question. And there's another wall that disappears as you get closer. But I am very curious because I'm thinking that there might be more to that. I'll, I might have to come back here. But for now, let's solve this. Oh, well, that's interesting. So I'm only allowed to solve this one for some reason. Let's move out. What the? Seriously? What's going on with this crazy place? I don't get it. Now there are torches that I need to light. I think I can change characters back over at uh, this thing right here. Yeah, I can. Okay, D. Luke, light these up for me. Or don't. Darn it. There we go. What'd that do? I suppose removing this, uh... Right there might help. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I don't know how that helped, but... And why is there an invisible wall here? It looks like he could go through there, but it's not letting you. Oh! By removing this, maybe the water drained from one of the, uh, areas. That's possible, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna also see if I can interact with these... No, I can't. Not yet, anyways. I'm gonna switch, uh... Venti back in. And the water drained from this room, so it did drain like I thought it would. After I, uh, blew up that one rock or whatever. Not blew it up, but used, uh, Zheng Li to destroy it. So I wonder if water has drained in other parts of the, uh, this place as well. I should go check. Okay, no, nothing was changed as far as the water level is concerned. I'm gonna exit again just in case those treasure chests that I was opening, the ones that, you know, just kept opening up around and around, counted towards the total. Because if they did, then I'll just consider it done. No, it's still saying that there are four treasure chests missing. Hmm. Okay then, let's go back inside. A thought occurred to me. Maybe this exquisite chest puzzle right here is somehow related to that down there. So the exquisite chest, I think, is in the position that this would be in. Or not. Uh, that worked. Why did that work? Maybe one of these is a Geo, and another one is a, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, Electro. Gather. Okay, never mind. Most likely one's Pyro and one's Electro. I'm gonna switch in Pyro and Electro very fast. Uh, okay, that worked. And what about this? No. I never tried Cryo. I don't think. So what about Cryo? No? Here we go. What? Why did that work? Okay. Uh, I won't ever understand how that just worked, but hey, uh, you know, it is what it is. Since I solved that, now there's this down here. 
There must be something going on with this puzzle, right? Is there some kind of visual cue around here that can tell me what that's the solution for that is? I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very close to just looking this up just to get it out of the way and finally done with because I am so confused. Maybe having these chests in different positions does something differently with the torches. What? Why? Why now? That's the question I have. What what changed? Other than the chest that I shifted the position of earlier. Hmm. Okay, once again, I'm gonna exit. I wanna make sure it's something very fast. I had to look it up, uh, and the solution is so silly, I can't believe that I didn't even notice it before. Anyways, I'm gonna go through this uh, door here. And there's a particular room I have to find. Okay, so you see this room right here? Now, you might think that you would not want to fall down here. But guess what you do? Now, the reason why is because it teleports you somewhere. And you can then complete a challenge. I don't... I don't understand why they did it that way. See, look. Here we are. We can complete a challenge. Yay. I, I'll i never understand why, why they did things this way, but hey, I can, uh, I can keep myself from getting hit by going on this. So there's that. This kind of makes up for all that looking around that I had to do. Anyways, the idea is, is you're not supposed to get hit by these. What? Oh. Whoopsie. Right. There we go. <laughs> I almost got hit there. I don't think that they intended for Zhang Li to be uh, to be usable here because this is a little bit broken. I mean, hey, I, I don't mind. There we go. Now I can exit. And there's a treasure chest. There's still one more left. I'm not entirely sure where it is yet. Okay, so supposedly I'm supposed to go back into Mona's home or whatever and interact with the mechanism one more time and I should be able to then claim the, uh, the treasure chest, apparently. And here's the mechanism, so let's touch it. And now I'm here and I need to solve a puzzle. Okay, so I'll solve this puzzle very fast. I'm glad that there's at least something that I can do. Uh, I, I had to look it up. It was driving me nuts. You know, hours and hours of searching for stuff in this one domain. Okay, there's that. And... What? I don't get it. I have no idea what I did, but I made that symbol, so... Yeah. And finally, there's the last treasure chest. Yep, zero tre uh, treasure chest and zero phantasmal conches are left in there. Uh, so that's good. I'm so happy. So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to hop on over to uh, this island right over here. And I think I'm going to head back to this um, thing, you know, where the theater was there. And then once I do that, uh, I'm going to you know, see if there was anything I was supposed to do there before going on to a different theater, because I do want to continue that quest. Uh, so there's a check notes option. Uh, why can't I draw the sword in the stone? And the reply is, hey there, that prop is the property of our troops, so do, please do not attempt to make off with it. Huh. I thought for sure there'd be some something here that would, uh, you know, explain why I couldn't you know, do the next part over here. Okay, so I looked it up and apparently there is one right here that I'm supposed to go to. I thought they said you could do them in any order, but I guess not. So I'm gonna just uh, make my way over there, hopping across these islands as I go along. Um, so let's start with this island right here. There you go, dude. My oh, let's get rid of his little shield quickly as possible. Eh. 
stay frozen. Or don't. That's fine too. He's about to charge, isn't he? I guess not. And I win. Thank you for the treasure. Okay, now that I've gotten that, there's some more stuff to do over here. I imagine that I can uh, get another treasure chest from those enemies over there. Oh, look at this. They're like beating, uh, beating up the little statues. So I should help them. And then I can talk to them probably. Figure out what's going on. Talk. These monsters are tough. If it wasn't for your help, I don't know what I would have done. Hmm. Well, allow me to give you th this to you as gratitude. Please do not refuse. And now, if you would excuse me, I shall have to check my wounded comrades now. Oh, thank you. Unsolicited. Pretty easy. And all the more valuable for it. Sometimes I wish all quests could be that snappy. Anyways, uh, let's watch the first half of this. Outside of the city gates, there lies a blessed stretch of prairie by the lake, with lush vegetation and a gentle, pleasant breeze. Seeking some time to rest, the wicked dragon landed with ease. Okay, where are you, wicked dragon? Let's place him there. A lake across and so far away, the castle as if a bird in a cage. <laughs> Have the humans finished preparing my meal, or do they yet believe they can defy their fate? The sun is high and the land scorching. In the interest of comfort, I will seek a more accommodating base. For one promised moment of unrivaled taste, I have traveled for hundreds of miles and hungered over dozens of days. The humans better not exhaust my patience, for even I have never had unlimited grace. Having spoken thus, the dragon sought relief in the shade. Yet forthwith, from the other direction, a merchant came. Ugh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sale. I am a merchant who has traveled a very long way. Is this how this kingdom deals with trades? Throughout my entire career, I've never encountered a customer as loud or strange as this man today. To him, everything I have for sale is either a manipulative scheme for money or undeserving trifles of heinous quality. To think I even mistook him for some kind of connoisseur, <sighs> when at the end of it all, he only made a fool of me. He never cared to close a sale. He just saw me as a challenge and refused to be defeated. As the merchant stewed over his anger, yet another irritated soul came onto the scene. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. As an adventurer, defeating evil is my calling. Just the thought of him makes me enraged. All I said was that I've never heard of him. And he's treating that like the biggest mistake. Insulting me? Claiming I want to steal his glory, and suggesting my quest is just a ploy. Evil dragon, show yourself! Resistance is futile! That's him! Oh, that must be him! Okay. Let's claim our prize and start up the second half. All the more. Humans are truly a rude and rowdy lot. To think they can cause such a ruckus without even showing their faces. The man in pursuit is the kingdom's famed fighter. Though the sun continues to blaze, he continues spiritedly with his chase. <laughs> it would seem that my boundless fame has caused even the evil dragon to lose its nerve. As an enlightened dragon, one cannot tolerate such deranged words. Aha! Evil dragon! I didn't believe you would actually come out and face me! The puny human talks big and employs an aggressive tone. Yet does the substance of his dream back up his claim? Oh. Hmm. Oh, and the beast is silent! Is my dream so grand that even a dragon finds it difficult to consume? As the noble warrior faced off against the evil dragon, 
The anxious princess and her entourage arrived at last. The nameless servant kept his eyes on the field. The warrior's words have ignited a fire within his heart. I admire his fearless figure. It would be a dream to also one day prove my character. Evil dragon! Why do you not speak? Have you finally realized you should cower in fear? I care not for those who are lesser. Your dream is massive, yet hollow in nature. For now, this weak, enlightened dragon still cannot decide if it's fit to eat. Oh, how vile of you to humiliate me! Just because I'm an enemy, I regarded you as a worthy opponent, yet you use such insidious tactics. I, the world-famous fighter, will never fall before your degradation and trickery. You disgust me. The fighter's animated speech kindled a burning flame within even the oft-dispassionate heart of the royal lady. I am long tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. Though one sees little reason to teach a lesson, perhaps no choice is left in the matter. Too many appetizers before the dish ruins the mood. But just for today, I can entertain an early platter. To everyone's shock, the evil dragon then swallowed the fighter's dream in one big gulp. It is just as I thought. Thin and crunchy, though empty under its shell. A most marvelous texture. The warrior was handily defeated. So he was a gifted orator, but never a true fighter. Conceit became his downfall. His power did not match his stature. The dragon remained unsatiated. Under everyone's gaze, it flew away to parts unfamiliar. Okay, cool. I never did uh, hear what that one said because I always found the correct one immediately. Anyways, uh, let's talk to him. My most distinguished guests, please hear me. I'm sure you have watched the first four acts. I hope you've been enjoying the show. Uh, as much as I possibly can, yes. The stage is now set for the final act. <sighs> I'm so excited I could cry. There is still something I need to follow up with backstage. I am terribly sorry that I cannot escort you to the final stage personally, but I'll see you there. Okay, see you. So the final stage was actually right over here where I had gone to before. This is where I'm gonna be stopping things for watching the next time I play. I'm going to uh, see the final part of this you know, quest here, the theater quest. And I'm going to continue the story, uh, pro I think it was over here, where they wanted me to go, but, you know, for, like, rhyme and song, the Summer Reverie. Yeah, it's right over here. And, uh, you know, do some more treasure hunting and all that other stuff, so yeah. See you next time, thanks again, and bye-bye.